80 Socceroos caps, two World Cups. Middlesbrough, Feyenoord, Dynamo Moscow. Yet on a Tuesday, back at his hometown club in Wollongong, three hours before training for the Wolves starts, Luke Wilkshire is doing it all on his own. Yeah, look, um, you know, I wait all day for this in professional world. You know, I've got to wait till the evening to get out of here. But, um, yeah, I'm itching always here. First to last to leave, as it is. Yeah, seven, seven on the outside. Seven outside, seven in with the ball. No, oh, well, it's like starting all over again, isn't it? You know, as a player, you start one from the bottom, and as a coach, you know, you learn in your craft. Yeah, I guess you need something, you know. I, th I thought when I retire from football, I'm going to smoke cigars and drink red wine all day, you know, my kids. But, um, you know, you learn pretty quickly when, when that time comes that you've got to be doing something, and football's the only thing I know. And, and if I go into something, I obviously go into it with, with all my passion and my heart and to be successful. Since he's been on board, he's been an inspiration to the area. There's no doubt he's bought professionalism to the club. Um, it's taught me a lot of things about professionalism. You know, I always refer to they're like my children. I've got six kids of my own and, and now I've got another 22. Everyone relates was hitting to, to Luke Wilkshire, of course, from that World Cup in 2006. You lent on him or any others? Every time I message Gus, I actually say, I'm sure boss, you're in the south of France playing golf and smoking your cigars and your red wine. He goes, yeah, Lukey, I am. Uh, he, always, he always pulls me uh, ex-boss as well when he signs off with his messages, ex-boss. You know, one thing from Gus I took was his passion and how he enjoyed being on the pitch, how he enjoyed uh, watching the players train. We used to play two-touch, for example, after training sessions, and he would just sit back and enjoy watching that and watching the competitiveness as us as players, and I guess I've got that as well. I enjoy the man management side of it. You know, I understand players obviously haven't been a player. You know, I understand change rooms and, and what goes on. I understand the disappointments and how people are spoken to. And I just believe if, if you do it in the right way, the honest way, you know, you can, you can always sleep well at night. And just like us and Australia, Wilkshire's impact at the Wolves was instant, with a league title in his first season. Where did that sit for you, do you think, in terms of your, your football achievements? It was probably up there. Um, you know, like I said, just the, the satisfaction of being able to help, you know, the, the group achieve what they did. He just expected us to win. That, you know, pressure that he put on us and what he expected of us was a big part in achieving what we did. Can you envisage a situation where you are an A-League club in the near future and Luke's your coach in the big time? Hey, that'd be a dream come true. That'd, that'd definitely a goal. So we were definitely interested. I definitely think he could coach A-League with the experience that he's got and, and the knowledge that he's got of football, I think it's just a given. Do you know what? I'm telling you, I believe this guy's going to go further than expected. It's just his passion. He's still living and breathing football. Where do you want to get to? What's your, your main goal in management? Yeah, look, now that I've started, my former clubs, you know, obviously dear to my heart, you know, in Moscow. So that's definitely something that, that it's a box that I want to tick at some stage. When it comes, we'll, we'll see, you know. But like I said, I'm, I'm thriving, I'm enjoying it here, and I'm sure opportunities will come down the line.